This lipstick comes from a plant, the safflower. Safflowers bloom in midsummer, blanketing the fields where they are cultivated in vivid yellow. Harvesting must be done in the early morning when the plant is still moist with dew. No machines can be used since only the bloom is plucked. Kahokucho in Yamagata, 400 kilometers north of Tokyo, is a center of safflower production. Paintings on ancient Japanese screens in this village depict the venerable history of safflower cultivation. Ancient safflower processing techniques have undergone little change. The petals are crushed by pounding and left to dry naturally. The safflower's brilliant red hue often symbolizes love in Japanese literature and poetry. And to achieve the desired intensity, the repeated dyings of a fabric can take two or three months. But the elegance of the resulting hue, though costly, is worth it. As the traditional Japanese kimono is worn less frequently, safflower dye now also colors modern clothing, blouses, t-shirts, neckties, and handkerchiefs. The safflower also possesses medicinal properties. Its oil, low in cholesterol, is also widely used in cooking. But its brilliant hue, as in centuries past, still colors the lips of Japanese women. With a 400-year history and vibrant color, the safflower still continues to enrich Japanese life. <laughs>